Hi, I'm Adam Haynes, an elder at Beth the Good Messianic Fellowship. But you should know that by now, because you've watched nine different videos that begin with me saying exactly that. There are two other things that were a common refrain. The first was, as mentioned in the introductory video, I will not be having an exhaustive conversation about each core principle. Rather, I'll be trying to help you get your independent study started by taking a few minutes to string together a few pearls. The second was, thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your day to listen to this quick video. Hopefully it encourages you in your studies. As mentioned in the introduction video, please do not hesitate to send along your questions to me. You'll find my email in the first page of your manual. I think it's clear by now that these videos couldn't possibly give you a complete comprehension of everything in each core principle. The wording of each core principle, the footnotes, the additional thoughts, the verses, everything included or not included in each core principle is the result of a couple years of work and discussion. Entire books have been written on some of these topics we covered and even those are inadequate. The nice thing is we're not asking for mastery, we're asking for unity. So what's next? I guess that depends on who you are. No matter who you are, you can move on with a better understanding of what we believe at Beth Takoon, a better idea of how much you agree with us. Assuming you've read through the required reading, you've taken good notes, go back and connect each of the thoughts in the core principle to the different passages. Do you believe everything was adequately supported? Is there anything you feel is unclear? or anything you think merits more explanation? Are there passages from the required reading that you think deserve in-depth analysis? Now that you've taken the time to work to better understand each core principle, take a step back. Consider the core principles as a unit. Is there anything you were surprised we did or did not include? After you have taken some time to consider all of these thoughts, send me an email. Finally, remember, for the majority of you, it was good for you to come on this journey with us, but it is okay if we arrive at different destinations. Now, if you are a leader, you probably occupy one of three positions. First, you may be in total agreement and content with your level of understanding in all areas. Your next step is to pass it on. Second, you may be in agreement, but have a few areas where you need to learn more to be fully confident. You have two things to do. In the areas where you are comfortable, pass it on. And in the areas where you need a little bit of help, get in touch with someone. Be it me, another elder, or somebody you're confident in their level of understanding. We'll figure out where to go from here. Finally, you may have a disagreement. If you are finding that you completely disagree with the majority of our core principles, then we probably need to panic because something somewhere went terribly wrong. But more likely, if you find yourself disagreeing with a bit of what you read, get in touch with me or another elder and let's sort it out together. It's possible we're dealing with a miscommunication or a misunderstanding or that something seems like a bigger deal than it might be. Or it might just be possible that serving together in unity isn't an option. Regardless, let's not panic until we get a chance to talk. In conclusion, I want to remind you of something I mentioned in passing during the introduction. This entire series of 10 videos is something of a sampler. It isn't designed to be the main course, but rather more of a disappointing appetizer that whets your appetite and encourages you to want real food. The next phase of the core principles requires two things. The first is your input. What things from the core principles deserves more attention? How about the additional thoughts and required reading? There are entire vast areas we left untouched. Question the manual. How did we come to our conclusions? Why did we write what we wrote? Then, if you find yourself stumped, or if you find a line of reasoning really beneficial, send an email. The second will be, at minimum, your prayers and maybe a bit of your time. 
The hope is that the next phase of the core principles video series transitions into the main course. And that means content. One of the formats I believe will be most beneficial is a roundtable discussion. Please pray that the Lord will put it upon people's hearts to dig deeply into these issues and to be equipped to share. And if you find someone has really helped you to deepen your understanding in one of these areas, send me an email and maybe I can put them to work. Thank you for taking the time to listen to these videos. I appreciate you and I look forward to walking alongside you.